and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of free roaming or free ranging guinea pigs. If you've watched my channel for a really long time, you know that we did free roaming or free ranging quite a lot. We started off with kind of like an experiment or a challenge and just tried out free roaming the guinea pigs. And we did this for a couple of weeks and then we moved to a setup that lasted for a couple of months. And then we stopped free roaming and then we tried it again this year. The one thing that I do wanna say that we did was we kept the guinea pig cage as the guinea pig safe space or the guinea pig safe base. So this was the space they could always return to. They had all of their Heidi's in there, the hay rack in there. We did have some piles of hay outside of the cage, but we usually fed the guinea pigs inside the cage and also this was just their main area. So the guinea pigs could come out of the cage when they wanted to, but they could also retreat back into their cage if they felt like that. I feel like this is a great compromise because of course guinea pigs are prey animals, so you also wanna be sure to offer them really that safe space where they feel comfortable and if there are weird noises around you, the guinea pigs can always go back into that space. So today I wanted to talk about the pros and cons because free roaming is great, but it also comes with a lot of problems. So let's start off with the pros of free roaming. One of the pros of free roaming is that it's definitely so cute to see your guinea pigs explore. It is the most adorable thing to go into the piggy's room and just see them come up to you and try to climb up your leg, to just sit somewhere and to enjoy your guinea pigs. It's definitely a very unique experience. It's way different than having your guinea pigs in a traditional enclosure. It just provides so much interaction between humans and guinea pigs and it's just the most adorable thing. Another thing of course is that the guinea pigs loved it, at least mine did. So we did give it a trial run, I had no idea how the piggies would react. Some of my guinea pigs are very outgoing so I kind of figured they'd love it. Some of them are a little bit more on the shyer side so I wasn't entirely sure whether they would love it. But it turned out that even the shy guinea pigs were totally on board and just really like their courageous selves just came out and they discovered new things and they all really loved it. So of course guinea pigs loving it is definitely a pro. Some other thing is also that you get to see a new side to your guinea pigs and you get to explore a different side to the character. So as I said, our shy guinea pigs were suddenly very courageous, just taking risks, looking at things just really came out of their shell. So if you do free roaming, you might really get to experience a different guinea pig, which is of course amazing to see. It's amazing to see the transformation. And suddenly you have a very shy guinea pig who is the most courageous of all of them and just decides to dash off into the kitchen to be the first to get a cucumber directly from the fridge. And that is definitely great about free roaming. Another thing is that if you commit to free roaming guinea pigs, obviously your guinea pigs get to live in a space that is so much bigger and they have so much more room than you can realistically provide with a traditional enclosure. So the space aspect is of course a really big pro because your guinea pigs can just run and zoom around to their liking. So let's talk about some of the cons. Definitely one of the big cons is that you need to piggy-proof everything. And I really mean everything. Just check the room from a guinea pig perspective to make sure that there aren't any cables, any fabric that the guinea pigs like to chew. Um, my guinea pigs didn't do that, but some guinea pigs might also chew the wall. So look out for that. Any loose things um, that are lying around that are not properly attached to the wall. You also have to really clean the space that the guinea pigs are free ranging in because you don't want them to accidentally eat something that could be potentially dangerous for them. Um, and I'm not even talking about human food, but things like leaves falling from plants. Definitely have to watch out for that because that just randomly happens throughout the day and you're not always there to check it. So it's easiest to remove all poisonous plants from even any shelves that the guinea pigs can't even get up to, but it is possible to, for the leaves to fall down on the floor and a guinea pig could digest that. So piggy proving everything is a ton of work. For one room, of course, but if your guinea pigs are allowed to free range on an entire floor or your entire apartment, of course, it becomes so much more work and it's really difficult to really piggy proof everything. Another thing is of course that other people might not get it. Of course you shouldn't really place too much value on what other people say about stuff, but still guests might be a little bit weirded out if you have free ranging guinea pigs. Um, I don't think it's that common. Something that you also definitely want to consider is that your guinea pigs are going to get 
very comfortable in your space, which means they basically own the space. Your piggies are probably going to develop a huge personality if they don't already have that, because let's be real, a lot of the guinea pigs have huge personalities already. Um, but they will feel entitled to everything in your room. And if you go back to live again in the enclosure, as soon as you do floor time again, your guinea pigs will just know that basically everything outside the enclosure is their space anyway. So your piggies will probably not go entirely back to being Piggy's living in a cage, I guess. Um, at least mine didn't. Uh, mine still see carpet and everything as their space. For me personally, the biggest con definitely was the mess. So my guinea pigs just really made a ton of mess. And I'm not even talking necessarily about the droppings. So in general, guinea pigs cannot be toilet trained. So your guinea pigs are just going to do their business wherever they feel most comfortable. So my guinea pigs usually only do their business on fleece liners. So the wooden floor or anything is usually safe from them. However, the carpet, of course, is a bit of a different story because, well, the carpet could be a fleece liner, I guess. So you definitely have to watch out for that. But the guinea pigs drag hay around everywhere. They had bedding everywhere fur was lying around everywhere and it just got really hard to clean even when we had the setup where like the towers were outside of the cage we did have fleece liners in front of the cage and so the mess really wasn't that bad on the wooden floors or anything but i just had double or triple the space to clean suddenly which was a ton of work and it really only looked clean for about an hour before the guinea pigs managed to just have hay everywhere again so my experience was that you definitely need a lot of time on your hands for free roaming guinea pigs. You have to be willing to kind of accept the mess and be okay with things looking very messy in a room um, because the hay just gets everywhere and the guinea pigs are going to run around everywhere. So it wasn't even the fact that you had droppings lying around randomly in my house. That really wasn't the problem. The main problem was hay everywhere and also that it just took a lot of time to clean all of the space because I suddenly had double or triple the work. Another con to consider is with talking about the amount of time, I also felt way more comfortable doing free roaming or free ranging while I was working from home. So if you remember our original free roaming series, we did that in 2020 when a lot of people were working from home and I was working from home. So I was sitting here in the living room and was working on my work stuff and the guinea pigs were just running around here. That was a great way to try out free roaming. If I were to work full time outside of the house and I didn't have anyone being at home full time, I don't think I would feel comfortable having the guinea pigs free roaming. That is personal thing though because I'm sure there are people who do that but I think I just really would be scared that something were to happen if I'm not around all of the time so I don't have a problem just going into the supermarket for 15 or 30 minutes but just being away for like nine hours and have the guinea pigs being on their own like in my entire apartment would probably freak me out a little bit and I couldn't really relax knowing that they were running around outside. Maybe it just takes time to get used to but I personally wouldn't feel comfortable doing that because you never know what happens and at the end of the day guinea pigs are just very small creatures and are kind of fragile so definitely another con for me would be that you kind of need to be at home to do that. These were all of my pros and cons of free roaming or free ranging guinea pigs. Personally, I totally do it again. I love the experience, but I would only do it if I was at home all of the time. For us, it just works to sometimes have periods where the guinea pigs are allowed to free range, um, but not to always do that every single day, 24 seven. What do you think? Is that something that you would like to do? Or have you tried it out already? I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time. Bye.